our first sounds of the new Acura Integra Type S. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. Acura has just shared with me details on the new Integra Type S. This thing has more horsepower than the Type R. Not much, or about five more horsepower. 320 horse coming for the Acura Integra. Same amount of torque as the Type R at 310 pound-feet of torque. And we'll put it on the, the hot hatch spreadsheet here in a little bit to compare against some of the competition out there. If you're excited, smash the like button for the Integra Type S. And Acura is confirming that launch is still scheduled for this summer. So make sure you're subscribed because I will be giving you, you guys my hands-on driving impressions of the new Integra. I could probably zoom in for you guys. That might be a little bit more helpful. I guess what else they've confirmed is that it's getting the two liter turbo. No surprise there. And it is paired exclusively with a precise short throw six speed manual transmission. So for you guys out there hoping you would get the 10 speed auto or somehow, some way, a snowball's chance you'd get the eight speed DCT from the outgoing ILX. There is no possibility here, at least not with the initial batch. It's all six speed manuals. And look at this, Integra Type S promises ultimate street performance delivered with premium appointments. Whereas the Type R is more of like, yes, it does give you street performance, but it's really there for track enthusiasts or, or should I say designed around the track. The Type S is more for the tuner crowd, the enthusiast crowd for the streets focusing on that street performance. All right, so let's talk about reveal date. They say, geared for a new generation of enthusiast drivers, the Type S will be officially revealed next month ahead of the 48th annual Grand Prix of Long Beach. And if we look up when that race is, well, it's April 14th through 16th. So it should be debuted before the 16th. Maybe you're on the 15th or 14th, fingers crossed the 13th. That's my oldest daughter's birthday. That would be pretty cool to have that coincide. But there you have it. Mid-April, we'll, we will be getting the Integra Type S revealed to us in its full glory. We have some additional images here of the Integra Type S. So this is our first look maybe at the wheel. We have, we have a little snapshot of the wheels. A, a little carbon fiber on the side mirror. That doesn't mean it's standard. Would love for it to be standard. I would assume it would be standard, but I don't want to make any assumptions. It's probably a dealer accessory, knowing knowing Acura. Because if we look at like the TLX, a lot of those things are dealer accessories. All right, I mean specifically the TLX Type S. Also the Type S badge on the front fender here. What else? I think we have one more image. There we go. And then we see the lift back here with the carbon fiber deck lid spoiler. Fingers crossed that is standard as well, but. I mean, other than like the big diffuser here at the bottom, not a lot for us to go off of. Our best images come from what Acura has actually showed of the prototype in the past. We'll just kind of rehash these real quick. I don't expect the design to change really at all from here. Just kind of peel back the camouflage and let your imagination run wild. On the exhaust video we had, uh, we this is the exact same exhaust, three same size pipes in a row. And yeah, it's going to look great. I guess these are the exact same wheels we just saw in that red image uh, just a second ago. So this is it. It's not going to look any different than this, I don't expect. And is the deck lid spoiler here carbon fiber? I guess it could be, but it's wrapped. It's, again, hard to tell. The diffuser looks the exact same as well. So what, we're ha what we have here is the car officially just in camouflage. And it's very much how they did the Type R as well. We had so many months, maybe even a year of it in camouflage, it felt like, and then they finally revealed it. Luckily for this vehicle, the, the teasing process isn't quite as long, but it, man, it looks great. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see what the pricing is. Uh, and I guess that's probably a good segue into the spreadsheet. All right, let's, uh, let's pump this up. There, there we go. So we live in pretty good times here. We have so many offerings, not only from the Asian automakers, but but we have Volkswagen still offering the GTI and Golf R here in 2023. We know it will be better equipped, the Integra Type S, than the Type R should have more amenities, more features, more comfort, even though the seats in the Type R are amazing. They're so comfortable. I could sit in that car forever. And I hope the Integra Type S gets a little bit of that comfort as well, but I know it's not gonna be quite as buckety of a seat compared to the Type R. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and update the kilowatts here. 
There we go. So everything is updated. I'm still expecting this to be a sub six second zero to 60 car. Hopefully costs around $50,000. If it's much more than that, you could get each, the TLX Type S. I know it doesn't have a manual, but you get the 10 speed auto and you also have a super handling all wheel drive, which the Acura Integra Type S will be exclusively front wheel drive. It would have been amazing to get all wheel drive on this as well as uh, some sort of automatic transmission as an option. But I shouldn't be complaining because the fact that we're getting a Type S on an Acura Integra once again is quite crazy here in 2023. The Elantra N, in my opinion, is still one of the best buys on this list in terms of just deal and performance per dollar. It's hard to beat. GR Corolla, good luck finding one. Uh, same thing with Civic Type R, right? Especially at the prices I have listed here. I know for sure that the GR Corolla has been had at sticker price, but the chances of that happening are probably like 1%. GR Yaris, if you're in other parts of the world, this is an option for you guys as well. Uh, Mazda 3 Turbo just reviewed this guy. Pretty quick little hot hatch as well. No manual transmission though, that would have been awesome. But one of the big strong points here is that it is all wheel drive standard. It has a really nice interior as well. And then we also have the GTI, which might be my favorite styled vehicle on this list. And then you also have the Golf R, which of course looks like a GTI in a lot of ways. And the WRX is selling well. It is probably put it up there with the Elantra N in terms of bargain. Uh, the Elantra N is a lot more fun to drive, but the WRX will give you all wheel drive. The zero to 60 isn't this fast, I don't think, on the WRX. Launching this thing was a nightmare. We'll probably put it to around six seconds, but I could be wrong there. I'm sure other people are able to do it quicker. But I'll see you guys down below on what you want to see from the Integra Type S. We have so much information at this point with its powertrain. I think standard features and pricing are the big guess. So I'll see you guys what you want to see on that down below. And if you enjoyed this video, you made it this far, smash the like button. I can't wait to drive. The Integra Type S sometime around the summer, around launch time, I would assume that's when it'll be. And it's going to be hopefully a lot easier to get your hands on over the Civic Type R. The Integra Type S will be built here in North America compared to the Type R that is built in Japan and imported over in very small volume. So thank you for watching. Like I said before, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day and peace.